none of you know what happened to me. Yes, Cat Williams changed my life for the better, and that's because of the talent I was blessed with. But at no point, and I mean at no point, did he ever have the right to put his hands on me. If you want to fire me, then cool. Give me my walking papers. But the gang jump me is a whole new level. And the people that get joy off me being in here are really gonna look stupid because I'm finna be free because you gotta be setting this up. So it looks like our man Cat Williams has found himself in some legal hot water once again. And this time, it's not just your run-of-the-mill legal hiccup, it's the serious stuff. A woman who used to be in Cat's employment nearly a decade ago has decided to shake things up by filing a lawsuit that's making headlines for all the wrong reasons. According to her explosive claims, Cat allegedly got physical, putting his hand on her in a way that landed her in the hospital for three days. The woman apparently already sued Cat once back in 2016, asking for $1 million in damages. She filed a motion for default, which is the first step to obtaining a default judgment against Cat. But Cat reportedly failed to respond and didn't appear in court. Well, according to a new report by Media Takeout, Cat's accused didn't give up and the case is preparing to go to trial. But Cat's fan base is side-eyeing this lawsuit and the timing of it because Cat recently stirred the pot with his No Holds Barred interview on Shannon Sharp's Club Shay Shay podcast. Fans are now connecting the dots and wondering if this lawsuit is more about settling scores in the court of public opinion than an actual legal grievance. On the other hand, some folks are saying Cat has a long and well-documented history of legal issues and arrests, and he's been caught on camera getting physical with random people. So what's the deal with this lawsuit? Did Cat actually attack his assistant, or is someone higher up trying to get revenge on Cat for exposing them. Let's break it down. Hey guys, it's Gary. So, Cat Williams having a uh, rough few weeks, or actually a rough week uh, with the legal system. So, uh, the latest arrest comes uh, once again in Georgia. Uh, cops raided his home after an investigation they'd been doing on him. So Cat Williams is still making waves in the viral world, all thanks to his explosive interview with Shannon Sharp. I mean, Cat didn't hold back and managed to put some of the biggest Hollywood names in the hot seat. So it wouldn't be a surprise if some of these names tried to get revenge on Cat for exposing their shady business. Media Takeout recently published a report saying they got the inside scoop from multiple well-connected entertainers entertainment insiders who tipped them off about a lawsuit that Kat's currently entangled in. Apparently, Kat recently dodged a legal bullet when the default judgment against him got tossed out of court. The whole ordeal stems from a lawsuit filed by a woman who used to work for him nearly a decade ago. But the case is now gearing up for trial, and the woman allegedly has some shocking things to say about her past dealings with Kat. To give you some background on this case, back in 2016, a woman by the name of Angela Triplett Hill filed a $1 million lawsuit against Cat in federal court in California, claiming that he got physical with her while she was working as his personal assistant on a movie. In the lawsuit, Triplett Hill claimed that she first met Cat in 2003 when she was working as a personal assistant for the Isley Brothers. She then befriended Cat and he offered her a job as a part-time personal assistant. But according to the lawsuit, things took an ugly turn in 2014 when Triplett Hill traveled to California to assist Cat while he was filming a movie. Triplett Hill claims that one day, Cat went into a fit of rage and reportedly made a forceful move towards her, snatching her phone right out of her hand and throwing it out of a truck window. And the lawsuit alleges that this incident wasn't an isolated one. Triplett Hill, who the suit claims had previously witnessed Cat putting his hands on other women, painted a chilling picture, recalling how Cat ordered her to get out of the vehicle, screaming, B, get out of my truck. And then she claims that Cat began violently striking her in the face, causing her to fall to the ground, slam her head against the concrete, and lose consciousness. The lawsuit states that the alleged attack resulted in a three-day hospital stay and caused Triplett Hill to suffer severe emotional distress. But Kat's spokesperson refused to comment on these allegations, and Kat pretty much ignored the lawsuit, failing to show up for a scheduled court date. In the meantime, Kat faced multiple other legal issues, and between 2014 
2014 and 2018, he was arrested a total of six times. On October 29th, 2014, Kat was hanging out with Suge Knight when they both got arrested for stealing a camera from a photographer in Beverly Hills. Kat pled no contest to the charge of robbery and was ordered to undertake a year of anger management classes and received three years of probation. But Suge Knight, uh, of course, rap mogul and Cat Williams comedian, they're under arrest after a high profile um, robbery, I guess you could call this. Yep, because the men are accused of stealing a paparazzi's camera in Beverly Hills in September, the alleged incident, taking place some weeks after Knight was shot at a party on the eve of the MTV Video Music Award. After this, Kat managed to keep a low profile for a good minute, and it seemed like those anger management classes were paying off. But come 2016, and Kat was back to his old ways. During this year, Kat was involved in multiple altercations and arrested four times. The first incident happened on February 29th, 2016, when Kat was arrested in Gainesville, Georgia, after a clerk at a swimming pool store said that Kat had put his hands on him. And by this point, Kat already knew the protocol. When police arrived, they found Kat lying face down with his hands behind his back, waiting to be handcuffed. On Monday, comedian Kat Williams was arrested on battery charges after allegedly hitting an employee at a pool supply store in Gainesville, Georgia. Police say Williams was face down with his hands behind his back when they arrived on the scene as if to surrender himself to their arrest. As far as how he got there, Williams reportedly entered the store with two women before getting into a heated argument with a clerk behind the counter. Things escalated from there with Williams throwing a pair of goggles at the employee and later striking him, according to Gainesville police. Kat was ordered to pay over $86,000 in damages to the swimming pool clerk he attacked and was banned from Hall and Dawson counties. But less than a month later, Kat got involved in yet another altercation, this time putting his hands on a 17-year-old boy. On March 20th, 2016, a video went viral of Kat, who was 44 at the time, getting into a fight with a 17-year-old following an argument during a soccer game in Gainesville. <laughs> 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 At the start of the video, the comedian can be heard saying, well, then you know what to do then, to the teen who stands directly in front of him. Seconds later, William punches the teen in the face. From there, the two can be seen tussling on the ground, while onlookers request that they chill and stop fighting. At this point, Williams is in chokehold at the end of the team, who ultimately submits to the requests and he lets go. The young man, Luke Wash, who put Kat in a chokehold, later talked to the Daily Mail and claimed the situation escalated after he tried to shake Kat's hand and Kat told him to back off. I don't know if he was sour, but it is what it is, Luke said. According to the Mail, Luke was a wrestler for two years before the incident and wasn't badly hurt after the fight. It was later reported by TMZ that the police launched a criminal investigation with Kat as the target after reviewing the video of the altercation. But before the investigation was completed, Kat was arrested again in Atlanta, Georgia, after allegedly throwing a salt shaker at the manager of a local restaurant. The manager claimed that Kat and his entourage went crazy after being denied preferential seating, and Kat threw the salt shaker, which hit him in the mouth. Comedian Kat Williams was arrested Wednesday night in Atlanta. Williams is charged with battery for an incident at a restaurant where he's accused of throwing a salt shaker at the manager. According to police, Williams became agitated after unwilling after he was unwilling to wait to be seated. Cat Williams posted bond a few hours after he was arrested. The victim suffered minor injuries. Police say they will continue to investigate the incident. But y'all, this wasn't the end of legal trouble for Kat. And by the end of 2016, he got arrested two more times. On July 24th, he was arrested on suspicion of battery after he got into an altercation with a woman at the Sportsman Lodge, a hotel in Sherman Oaks, California. According to TMZ, it was unclear what started the altercation, but the police noticed visible marks on the woman's face. Kat was detained for a few hours and released later that day after posting $20,000 bail. But fast forward three months later and Kat found himself in handcuffs once again. On September 15th, he was arrested in Fulton County, Georgia on a charge of second-degree criminal damage to property 
property after he turned himself in on a warrant for failing to appear in court for that salt shaker incident. This new arrest also involved an allegation from February 28, 2016, stating that Cat had attacked his bodyguard and threatened to unalive him. So yeah, as you can see, Cat's history of physical altercations with both women and men is not exactly working in his favor now that he's facing this new lawsuit from his assistant. On the other hand, those past cases are not proof that Cat actually did what his assistant is accusing him of. Either way, you know Cat's diehard fans are sticking by his side, claiming that someone is trying to silence Cat because he's been on a mission to expose the entertainment industry. On the other hand, some folks are saying Cat's fans need to wake up and smell the coffee. And just because Cat might be telling the truth about the industry doesn't mean he's not guilty of some other things. One fan said, they bring up false charges when they can't control you, and the media is all too happy to help. But another person clapped back, saying, nobody presses Cat on his serial woman beat. It's around 10 separate incidents, but his sassy gossip is what is viral. But what's your take on all this? Are you buying into this theory that Cat is being set up by the industry higher-ups? Leave your thoughts in the comment section, and then check out this next video.